This episode is sponsored by LadyFootLocker.com. You have a lot going on. Work, school, friends, kids, cocktail parties. Go prepared and look good while you're doing it. Head to EverydayDriggers.tv slash Lady to save 10% off orders $50 or more at LadyFootLocker.com. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schulman. Today, we're going to create create a drink called Slap Yo Mama. This recipe was submitted by Randy. I believe he made it up. And the what piqued my interest about this one is that it used these two like hip hop style club. Hip-hop. Yeah, they're like these these pop club. You know, there's all these new drinks coming out that are bright and big glasses with funny names. Club stuff, things you'd see in clubs. You, you know, you know, all elitist on us. I guess I am. I don't know. That's just how I, I imagine. That's how I think they're kind of portrayed. That's where they go. Um, but we're bringing two of them together. I don't need bitters. Um, two of them together with pineapple juice. Don't they have intersecting Intersecting. Uh, they just come right together. Ching! Some of them both. It's like, don't they use the same fruit? And There's multiple fruits in each one, and I think they share a fruit, don't they? Yeah, probably. It's just like Starscream, this like Megatron, and you like they they come together to be able to like, shoot uh, the enemy. Uh, this has passion fruit. This is your basically your passion fruit. Oh, it's imported by Sky. I think I've done this exact same thing before. Um, so that's your passion fruit, and I believe kind of like a vodka, or no, is it vodka or cognac? I don't know. It's it's a, some distilled spirit, but it's got the flavors it's of really passion good. fruit. We All right, used here. It in a long time. Um, French vodka, Sicilian blood orange mingled blood. with mango and passion fruit. So that is like fruit in a in a bo- in a bottle, really. That's really tasty. By itself, it's tasty. Throw that on ice. Woo! Then you believe this is going to be brandy and vodka. Let's see. Premium vodka, fine cognac, whatever. Natural tropical fruits. We don't know what they are. Oh, they don't list them. Uh, bu- 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 fine cognac. Here you go. Tropical fruits. Hints of orange and passion fruit. So they're intersecting yeah, on the passion. That's what I thought. So you get passion fruit, you get your pineapple, tropical fruits, pineapple's tropical. I know my liquors. It's all in. So there you go. We're going to shake it. It's got some juice in there. We want to you know, make sure it's put together good. Are you hamburgers over there now? <laughs> yes, I'm making hamburgers. <laughs> I give you a burger today, you pay me tomorrow. I don't remember how that goes. What are you coming up with tonight? You have the weirdest things. Whoa! Well, it's Everything a little... Everything in Russia makes you, and you give me hamburger today, I pay you tomorrow. <laughs> it's the guy from Popeye. Brutus? Brutus. Is that his name, Brutus? Yeah, I think so. By the way, we just burned out. The We're done. Beef cake. Brutus the bar... Oh, there's more bottles down there. Uh, Brutus the Barber Beefcake. What the heck did this thing just do? I use this. Right? Oh, that's awful looking. Really? That's yeah. pretty pink. I know, but that's pretty blue. Got lost in the blue. It, I guess so. It did something. I I don't even know what to say, but it did something. It looks like that Monet drink that we did that we were so psyched about that came out looking so blah. And it's got Tasted some good, but Whoa. It's got some artifacts in it from the uh end of my Hypnotic. Oh, I don't know what that's all about, but there's definitely some hypnotic condensed crystallizing stuff. You should have probably thrown out the bottle. <laughs> or break them up. Yeah, really good. I seriously have no idea what that was, so. I don't know what to tell you. I'm, I'm not so quite sure that's going to fit in a highball anymore. I'm going to go... I think that's what I'm going to do. You're still about changing your glasses around this week. I am. I'll tell you why. Because I changed the recipe on the fly. I kept the proportions the same, but I couldn't do two, two, and one. Because I ran out of the hypnotic before I got through. So it's like half, half, and quarter, or three quarters, or whatever. Same thing, it's just... Less of it. I, I'm, I call it an audible. You saw the defense doing a 3-4. <laughs> yeah, in a, in a dime package. Yeah. Called it audible. <laughs> this is weird. Uh, 
Yeah. So there you go. It's pretty weird looking. It's white like a white Italian ice. No. It's like sewer water. <laughs> no, it doesn't look like sewer water. It, it's uh, closer like to... Dirty water. Could be a little bit. It smells like, like a acid sweet... Acid rain. Acid rain. It smells like acid rain. It smells like a sweet pineapple passion fruit. Blood orange mixture. <laughs> I'm getting the blood orange. No. Really, it's it's like a artificially... It, ta- it smells like the X-ray, like that artificial tropical thing. Should I give you what my first impression is? I don't know. It <laughs> it tastes like a rubber bouncy ball. Or like that like <laughs> It's not a good impression. It tastes like a rubber ball, like the smells. Not like you ate a rubber ball. Or like those big kick balls. If like you or inside of a tire, any of that like rubber smell. <laughs> It tastes weird. Uh, a lot of things we do taste weird, but this just tastes exceptionally weird for some exceptional weird reason. I guess it works if that's what you're going for. I if you're going for rubber. It might taste different to different people. It depends on what triggers in your brain. Most cocktails, I think, when I come up with a, an assessment and people are like, dude, you're right on, it's because it's... You should, just like I'm shooting with a shotgun. I'm getting a wide, like, oranges. Okay, people can relate to that. This is different. Or this original. People can relate to when you bring the butterscotch in. This has no thing to really calibrate it to besides me saying I think it tastes like a rubber ball. It has some tropical sweetness. I taste no pineapple. The x rayed in, in the hypnotic really... Cl- they don't clash, but I think... I think they bring too much of the same together. But because they both have slight variants on stuff like the blood oranges and the, oh, and the brandy. Ones, yeah. yeah, so you're bringing all that together and they, they don't want to meet up all the way. It's just, it's awkward. It's not off balance. It's just very awkward tasting awkward. to me. Awkward. So if you have the two, you can probably find pineapple juice. Try it. What I'd say is if you're going to go out and buy, because people do this. They watch your recipe like... I need to buy X-rated, and I'm in Lithuania. We've had this happen already, right? Uh, You know, it's going to cost me X amount of money. What else can I make with it? Don't buy X-rated and hypnotic, which is in my trash can, um, for this drink. Although Randy, Randy invented the drink. Randy's a fan. He likes it. So other people are probably going to like it. I just don't think you want to go out and buy this just for the rubber taste. You can get rubber taste in so many other ways. Patron. Patron. That's burnt rubber. That's different. This doesn't taste like it's on fire, like a kickball on fire. This just tastes like the kickball if you were to express the air towards your face. Lovely. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm sorry. (laughs) EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're teaching you how to drink.